Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. Uh, so today we're going to focus on the latest version of Home Assistant, which was just released last week. This is their October 2021 version, so it's 10.2021. So there were tons of stuff that came out with that release, but the main thing we're going to focus on is the latest Tuya integration. So now Tuya's custom integration that they've been working so hard with Home Assistant to get uh, configured and get ready to go is now fully in production in Home Assistant. And we're going to look at that today. Here we go. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Tuya for sponsoring this video today. They are making huge strides to become the global leader in both smart home and IoT technology. Tuya, IoT made easy. So as I was already stating, this is the full production version of the Tuya integration. It's going to replace the existing Tuya integration that they already had. So if you're on an older version of Home Assistant, in order to get to that new version, you will have to update. So they are going to continue to maintain the Tuya integration that's in the Home Assistant Community Store. This will be their beta integration, where they do some of their testing before it goes live in the production version. All right, so let's go over a couple of uh, prerequisites here. First things first, as I already stated, you will need to be on the latest version of Home Assistant. So that's 2021.10. Um, otherwise, you will not get the latest version of the Tuya integration. But of course, once you are on the latest version, then the other thing you want to do is probably go through and remove any old uh, integrations of Tuya because we don't want any lingering... Uh, side effects from the old versions of the integration. We don't need any duplicate devices showing up as well. So we're gonna go ahead and remove any existing Tuya integrations that we might have uh, to prepare us for the latest install. Once you've removed the integration, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and restart Home Assistant to pick up those changes. Once we have all that done, we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so let's do a quick recap of the install. Uh, now, if you really want a detailed version of the install, I'll have a link in the video up in the top corner. Uh, that's the original video I did for this Tuya integration. So you're gonna wanna go through some of the steps for that uh, as far as setting up your developer account and some of those things. But nonetheless, you will need a Tuya developer account. Once you have that account, then you're gonna wanna go over to the cloud development section and you're gonna create a cloud project. And one thing to note, there's no way to delete any cloud projects. Uh, so as you can see, I've got three there currently. I have no way to remove any of them. I'm obviously only using one of them for Home Assistant, um, but of course I have the other two that are just kind of stuck there. So just keep that in mind as you're playing around with the uh, cloud projects. Uh, there is no way to delete any old projects. Once you get it added and approved by to you, then you can click on that. Um, right there on the main screen, it will show you under the overview what your access client ID is and your access client secret. You will want to save those because you need those uh, whenever you're setting up your integration in Home Assistant. But basically, we're going to go over to the devices section over here, and we're looking for the link to your app account. So this section right here is where you can basically add in an app account it's going to give you a QR code that you can scan on your phone inside the Tuya app. Once you scan that QR code, it will basically pull in all those devices and link that account with your developer account. So as you can see, I've already done that. Uh, and here are all of the devices that are currently configured in my Tuya app. Not all of these devices are going to work with the new Home Assistant integration, at least not yet. Um, but most of them probably will and they're adding more configurations for additional devices all the time. Lastly, once you do that, then you're ready to go back over to Home Assistant and we will basically add in that new integration. So you're gonna go into the integration section, you'll hit the plus in the bottom corner, and you're looking for that Tuya app. So you can type in Tuya and it should start coming up. 
And as you can see, there's Tuya, and then of course the Tuya V2, which is the one that uh, was the custom integration for Home Assistant and local Tuya. Those, we don't want to mess with those. Those are older versions of the Tuya integration. We're looking for just the default Tuya integration here. We'll click on that. It's going to ask for that client ID and client secret, just like we talked about before. Uh, so you're going to pull those from your developer account. And then your username and password is the username and password that you use for your Tuya app. So you'll plug all that in here and it should basically connect right in. And as you can see, uh, here's all of our devices that it's currently pulled in from the Tuya app. So everything is looking pretty good, but that's basically what we wanna do. Let's go ahead and move on to the next section. So local versus cloud. Now, obviously, most people are wanting to know if this integration is going to be locally accessible or if it's cloud accessible. How is this integration accessing our two devices? Well, currently, it is using the cloud API. So this is going to be a cloud integration. Uh, it's not local like we would prefer. Obviously, most of the time when we're messing with two devices, we're loading Tasmoda or ESP Home on them so that we can take advantage of local integration. And if you watched the release video from the Home Assistant release party uh, for this month, which I will have a link in the description below, they did bring up the idea of local API. They said currently there is not a time frame for getting that set up, and they don't know when that's going to be integrated. So for the meantime, we're going to be stuck with Cloud API or doing something like Tasmoda or ESP Home to our two U devices to get them locally accessible. So just something to keep in mind when you're messing with this integration. So lastly, my final thoughts on this uh, are just that I really like the fact that Tuya is working so hard to integrate well with Home Assistant and that they are heavily involved in building out this integration. I do like the fact that you can create your own device drivers and they kind of walk through that and show you some of how to set that up so that you can integrate other devices into this integration. According to Tuya, they currently have over 400,000 devices or device types that are running Tuya uh, software. So that's huge, and that's a lot of devices. So though it's not local yet, uh, I still have hopes that it will eventually allow us to use the local API uh, for Tuya and be able to integrate those locally without using the cloud. Fingers crossed. I want to thank everybody for donating to my buy me a coffee link every little bit helps if you haven't had a chance jump over to the spring merchandise page and check out all of the burns home automation merchandise and as always if you're looking for vpn service check out ip vanish i'll have a link in the description below so that you can jump over to their website and see what deals they're currently running if you're interested in buying and selling stock or maybe cryptocurrency check out Robinhood. i'll have a link in the description below for that as well and if you sign up with that link you and i both will get a free share of stock if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.